Amelia, what are you doing in the den, dear? Nothing, Dad. I'll be done in a minute. I'm just cooking. In the den? I mean reading. In the den? I like to read and think in here. In the den? Good night, Dad. Go to bed. <sighs> Good. Oh, what beautiful diamonds. Now I just have to get these to the hotel before my father knows they're missing. Please forgive me, Father. What? Are you talking to me, Amelia? No, Dad. Stay right there. I'll bring you some more milk. Amelia. Dad, I I'm going to bed. Good night. Well, I'll walk you upstairs. Thanks. What's in the bag, dear? What bag? The bag in your hand right there. Is... Oh, this bag. Yeah, I'm just stuff. Go to bed. Okay, I'm very tired. Good. But first, I want to check on my diamonds. For what? You're right. Let's go to bed. Is that your flashlight? Huh? Is that your flashlight right there on the floor in front of the safe? No. Okay, let's go to bed then. All right, cut, cut. Guys, that was great. That felt pretty good. Uh, did that feel good? Yeah. Once we shoot on location, this thing is going to be incredible. Uh, so you, you guys all set for the field trip? Do you have your permission slips? Oh, yeah. I've, I've got mine laminated. You got yours laminated. I don't know, Brandon. What if we get in trouble? Look, we, we're not going to get in trouble, so it, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm just nervous about it. Melissa, it's just a hotel. People shoot movies in hotels all the time, so it's... Oh, listen, don't worry about it. Getting the shot is the only thing that matters. All we have to do is get the shot. Brandon, I... is that supposed to be some sort of pep talk? Because uh, i got to tell you, it's not making me feel any better. Uh, well, I have a laminating machine at home. Oh. Well, things plugged in. Electricity seems to be working. Come on, you stupid. Ow! Cheap. Oh. Hey, McGurk has that joke coming. <laughs> I uh, can't navigate through my geography class without my caffeine co pilot. <laughs> hey, when do you think that fuel will be ready for pumping, eh? <laughs> hey, Fink, you know how to work this thing? What is it, plugged in? Big Eric? Yeah, it's plugged in. I can't help you then. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, that's great. Ow! Oh, Scar my hand! <laughs> hey, I didn't want mine to go, huh? Principal Plum! Beautiful morning, isn't it? Coffee machine is on the uh, fritz again. So I threw it on your car. Sorry. Is it, uh. Can you check if it's working? No? I know this is only a sitcom, but n nobody can be that stupid. Hey, Brendan. You know, um, Mr. Lynch called me today. Mr. Lynch? Mm-hmm. You mean my Mr. Lynch? You don't own him. Yes, I do. He's mine. Why did he call you? I wanted to know if I could be a supervisor on your field trip to the hotel. <laughs> Boy, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, what did he say when you, when you told him no? He said thank you, because I didn't tell him no. I told him yes. <sighs> Man, well, well, why are you going on my field trip, then? You don't want to go. No, no, That's... I'm not going on your field trip. I'm chaperoning your field trip, Brendan. But, Mom, why do you want to go? You've been to hotels millions of times. It's my duty as a parent to help out. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, no, you shouldn't have to help out at all. That's why we pay taxes. I'm a much better citizen than that. Uh, Mom, look, there's going to be kids running wild all over the place, and you don't want to chase them around, and, you know, you're way too old for that stuff. I'm not too old, Brendan. I'm young and vibrant. I can keep up with any eight-year-old kid. And at least I know I won't have to worry about you and Jason and Melissa, right? Let's just pay a little more attention to the TV and, and not so much attention on talking, okay? Mm, sorry. So, Mr. McGurk, tell me something about yourself. <clears throat> uh, well, do you mind if I have a look at that application? Oh, sure, sure. Just, you know, refresh my memory. I, uh -huh. I graduated USC, as it says here. Oh. And I uh, fought in the Gulf War. Gulf War? Yeah. I went to UCLA myself. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful country. Well, I'm sold. Well, me too. I think you're our new night manager, Mr. McGurk. Well, that's great. When do I? Well, well, let me uh, hold on there one one second. Let me Can't just wait check. To put the tie on. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Let me just see what the old background check turned up. Uh, da -de -da. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Mr. McGurk. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, but you've got quite a history here. All these fines and arrests and 
drunk and disorderly, drunk and disorderly. Oh, right. Well, I, wait a minute. Before you go jump in the gun. I'm here. afraid that's not what we had in mind. It's a family restaurant. <laughs> Look, sir, I'll be honest with you, all right? I went a little mental the other day, and I need 1700 bucks to pay for some damages. Look at my hands. Empty. It's out of my hands. I can't help you, Mr. McGurk, unless you wanted to order some food. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay, there's a... Uh... There's been a little monkey thrown into the mix. I think you mean monkey wrench. Nope, I mean the whole monkey. My my mother is going on the field trip. Why? Because she's helping Mr. Lynch, so now we have to be extra sneaky. So make sure you memorize all your lines. <sighs> Brendan, I'm uh, not really good at memorizing lines. Yeah, it's, me well, neither. You know Mary had a little lamb? Yeah. She did. I still haven't memorized it. Look, we have to, guys, because we only get one shot to, at each scene because there's going to be adults everywhere and we're going to be sneaking around. So, you know, we have one chance to do it right. And, you know, we've got about 37 scenes to shoot. So, guys, we got to, you know. That's a lot of scenes. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe maybe we'll uh, cut a couple out. I don't know which one. Hey, Brenda, do you know the scene where you're sleeping? Yeah. Maybe that one could, um... <laughs> Yeah, but it's important because we have the scene where I wake up, so... Uh, just a suggestion. I'm, I'll take another look at the script. The scene with you on the bidet, it's funny, but it definitely could go. Well, let's not go overboard here. We're going to need some scenes to have a movie. I love coaching, you know? I mean, I'm in it for the kids. You know, sometimes I say to the school, don't pay me, but they don't listen. You know, but that's the kind of worker I am. I'm loyal trustworthy and uh, noteworthy. Well, your background check came through clean as a whistle, Mr. Small. Welcome to Galaxy Coffee. Wow, thanks. That's great. Please, call me Brendan. Okay. Uh, this here is your list of kids. Uh, I've got them in... Alphabetical order, yeah. Uh, Allison, Brendan. No, no, no. Actually, Paula, they are in the order of most likely to run away. Okay, yeah. See the first name on the list, Allison? Yeah. Yeah, so Allison would be the first most likely kid to run away. Oh, okay. Which one is Allison again? Uh, she would be the one across the street getting into that cab. Uh, so you might want to... Uh, Allison, you know. get over here! Wait, wait for the light! Uh, okay, it, it's okay, Paula. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Why is Brendan next on the list? Uh, well, Brendan is, uh, what's to say you're going to have to keep an eye on him? <laughs> Please, Mr. Lynch, my own son, I can handle him. Hmm. Where is he, anyway? I gotta pee! Wait, did Brendan get off the bus already? I can't wait! It's a bodily function! Bodily functions don't wait! Okay, go inside, but come right back. Perry's going to be sick. I have seasickness. I keep telling him we're on land, but he won't listen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Land or sea, I get seasick on the bus. Okay, fine, fine. Then hurry up. Follow Fenton to the bathroom. Go. Go quickly. Brendan? Brendan? Fenton, wait for us. Wait for us. I'm seasick. No. Perry's sick. I'm sick, Fenton. Have mercy. Don't follow me. I've got to pee. Perry, he's getting way hurry. It makes me sick when I run. Okay, ah. you walk, I'll run, Perry. Yeah, Mr. Lynch, like, do you have Walter and Perry you on your list? They're, they're not on my I'm list. Sure. I don't bother listing oh. them. Run they tummy. never yeah. run away. Perry? Never? Yeah. Perry, yeah, Walter. If you throw up, I'll throw up. Okay, let's both throw up at the same time. Count of three. Ready? Okay. Morning, ma'am. Are you staying with us for business or pleasure? Both. That would be pleasure. Yes. Or pleasness. Yes, tell me something, Bellhop. Has Mr. Hutchinson checked in yet? Yes, he has. Good, thank you. Will there be anything else, ma'am? No, I think that's all. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here you go. Daddy's got ease. Thank you for your help. Uh, Daddy has six kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm all cleaned out. All right. Well, thank you. Enjoy your stay at the Mystery Hotel. Cut. Beautiful. Let's move. Can I get my money back? No. Brendan! Oh, sh Brendan! Sh Brendan, what are you doing over here? Nothing, nothing. Stay with the group. I'm counting on you guys to okay, help me okay, out. Okay, okay. Where's Allison? Um... Allison! Allison, get down from there! We're in trouble, Brendan. No, I no, knew no, no, it. relax. Don't We're fine. Jump. We're fine. Wait. We're fine. Don't I knew worry. this was a mistake. Much obliged, sir. Oh, not bad. Now we need to sneak into a room. Brendan, I gotta take this upstairs. <laughs> Uh, 
so I grab him and I have he's a big guy, but I grab him by the shirt and I say, You don't do that in my hotel. I throw him up. And that's the story. Any question? Yeah. I want to see you throw somebody out. Well, uh, the days are early, but I might be throwing uh, you out. Ha ha. Throw somebody out. Listen, little boy. It's no good when I throw somebody out. I don't like that side of the business, but I do it. I do it because it's important for the other people in the hotel to feel safe, okay? Just throw one person out, please. Uh, <clears throat> excuse, uh, excuse me. Uh, hi. I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm locked out. Uh, my parents left and locked me out of my room number 24, and if you could open it, that would be tremendous, okay? Um, I'll, I'll be right over in front of my room number 24, uh, uh, waiting with my, uh, friends, uh, who are sick. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay, that's, uh, you made your point. Okay, all right. Okay, yes, this is how you throw somebody out. Oh. Uh, okay, a little tight. A little tight. I've got the diamonds. Now give me back the pictures, you blackmailer. Not so fast, Amelia. Give me the pictures. Well, that's slower. <laughs> it's very funny, and I like a gal with a sense of humor like, like you, like a girl like yourself, like one of you. Cut. Hi, my name's Clarice. Well, my name's Brendan Small. Got it? Brendan Small. My boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Well, that's cute. So what's up, Clarice? I'm going to train you, but I don't mean like in a health club. Yeah, I, I didn't think you did since we're in a coffee shop. All right, so this is the uh, coffee maker, right? I got to warn you, I don't get along with coffee machines. And you're staring at me. I know. My boyfriend says I stare. Well, it's because you do. Now stop it. It's creepy. I'm going to college next year. My boyfriend's already in college. Well, it's exciting, Clarice. Now, will you please stop staring at me? And you really should blink. Because blinking shows that you're human. All right? If in your father gets the things, then he'll do with something quicker in a something fast line. Just keep going. I don't care how many pictures you have of you'll, me. Oh, and you'll run over to the thing, and you'll do stuff, and I'll do stuff back, and there won't be any stuff left to do. I'm not going to steal for you anymore. All right, okay. Yes, will you rob the hotel safe for me, please? It would be really good if you would do that for me. Thanks. You don't scare me. I saw my fiancé downstairs, which means he's coming to save me, and the jig is up. He's not here to save you, little darling. Your fiancé is having an affair with the maid. No, he's not. Why do you think I chose this hotel? I don't know. Good rates? Close to the airport? No. Well, then why? So you would see that your fiancé is playing you for the fool. I don't believe you. Maybe y'all believe this. Ouch. Johnny? <clears throat> That's right, Amelia. I'm your fiancé's identical twin brother, Jimmy. Johnny. Johnny. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now I want to show you how to turn down a bed if he ever asks you to do something. What did he say? That's a little hotel humor. Lighten up, people, so we're here all day. I can barely understand what you're saying. Perry, I want to stay in a hotel. I want to live in a hotel. I want to be a uh, hotel manager. I want to be a maitre d'. I want to be a bellhop. I want to be a waiter. I want to be a bell. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Have you seen Brendan? Uh, no, I haven't, Paula. Uh, you know, I, I remember my first field trip, uh, like yours. Uh, it was the aquarium. I was very nervous. Just me and 42 kids. Where is Brendan? <sighs> I was so afraid I was going to lose some, and uh, they were running all over the place. <laughs> what happened? I lost some kids. <laughs> Clarice, this doesn't look right. It's all foam. It looks like soap suds. You forgot to put the espresso in. Well, why didn't you tell me? You have to learn for yourself. My girlfriend and I were born on the same exact day. Oh, well, that's exciting. What day was that? D-Day? No. You're funny. Yes, I am. My boyfriend could get really jealous of you. Uh-huh. Look, little mama, let me tell you something, all right? I'm here to do my time, make my money, and that's it. I can't possibly get involved with a co-worker. That would be wrong. Plus, how old are you? 18. Well, I could potentially get involved with a co-worker. 
But why blackmail me and make me steal my father's diamonds worth $750 million? Because the owner of this hotel stole the hotel from my father when he was a young hotel guy at this hotel, and the papers to prove it are in the hotel safe, and some diamonds are in there, too. Why? Tell me! Because I know your real identity, Amelia. You're the international jewel thief known as the Queen of Diamonds. How did you find out my secret identity? I don't know. But if you break into the safe, you can steal all that stuff and we can run away to South America or some other country. That is, if you love me. Do you? Well, I... I... Whoa. Oh, no! It's Mr. Shock, my father's very own private private eye. He's been hiding in the bathroom and heard the whole thing. He must have followed me here to take the diamonds back and probably to turn you into the police. He's not a man you can reason with. Oh, uh, I think you did a couple of my lines. Sorry. Everybody hide. What? What? Hide! Now you take uh, your TP and you fold this in first. Fenton, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Shut up, I am not. You are, poor Fenton. I know. Shut up! It's just stupid toilet paper! Poor Fenton, poor Fenton, he can't do anything. Okay, wrong. okay, settle down, focus. Look at Mr. Lynch! It's on his shoe! <laughs> <laughs> it's on his shoe. Oh my god. Yeah. I like your shoes. I like your shoes. Oh my god. We're gonna get in trouble. Oh, Melissa, where's Jason? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind? Someone's, someone's in here. Brendan, I can't take this anymore. Don't, I gotta no, get out of here. Brendan, don't I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, and hello. Uh, carry on. Uh, need more TP. 48, 49. Or 50. <clears throat> that was only 49. No, that was a 50. You didn't count the first one. No, I counted the first one. It was 49. Listen to me, you little punk. Uh, one. <coughs> Heavy. <laughs> Has anyone seen Brendan or Melissa or Jason? Oh, boy. Don't worry, we lose kids all the time. Hmm. This is the perfect place to shoot the final scene. Let's go back to the hotel. No, no, no. It, it, it's fine. Uh, plus, I have to pee, so... Hold your breath. Mm. Uh, I think it only works for hiccups. It works for pee, too. Oh, my God. Is that Coach McGurk? He's robbing the place. <sighs> We're all camera. Okay, again. One, two, three dollars and fifty-six, seven cents. There's your change. Have a nice day. Don't bother coming back next. You shouldn't say that to customers. It hurts their feelings. He's not robbing it. He's working here. Clarice, spare me. All right, the guy was a jerk. Handed me a five. He must have had two bucks, right? I'll have a double grande, half-calf, single-shot vanilla skin cappuccino for here. Coach McGurk, what are you doing here? Brendan. Why did he call you Coach McGurk? Uh, I don't know. He's probably retarded. Why does your name tag say Brendan Small? Because that's his name. See, my name tag says Clarice. But my boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Clarice, take a break. Hey, guys, guess what? I got the news. One of the hotel guests has three kids who fit the description of the missing kids who are waiting in the coffee shops. What? What? I said the kids are at next door at the coffee shop. Oh, thank God. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. Can I get my coffee? Lady, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the hell you ordered. How about a biscotti? Coach McGurk, I mean... I mean, Brendan, I, I really have to use the bathroom, so... Bathrooms are for customers only. But I'm, I'm too young to drink coffee, and if, and if I did, I'd have to pee more, so... No, no Brendan, I'm... we should probably just start shooting. They're going to shoot you? It's a robbery! Hey, Brendan, what's going on? Well, Brendan, I'd like to film the big final scene of our movie here, but first I have to pee. Yeah, you know, Clarice, you mean shoot a movie. Brendan! What? what? Brendan, thank God you're all right. Who's she? My mother. I've been looking all over for you. Brendan, you know you're not supposed to uh, leave the group. You're going to have to be punished for this. Can I pee first? Brendan, I was so worried about you. Get over ah, here. Mom, no, don't touch me. I'm going to, I have to really use Brendan, the bathroom. Brendan, listen to me. I don't want you you're running off like that pressing on my bladder. Again. I was worried sick. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I Mom, I, 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 I didn't know you worked here. Oh, now I have to pee. Hey, that is a guy I threw out of my hotel so last week. Oh, great. This is great. Coach McGurk, why does your name tag say Brendan? Wait a minute. Everybody's calling you Coach McGurk. Your name isn't Brendan Small. You lied. You lied to me. I'm going to tell the manager. I got to pee. Somebody this there. Where did you find him? Where's my coffee? Later, you're this not is getting my Brendan Small. Small.
Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. They found Allison. She was at the airport. She's fine. <sighs> Anne, I'm awake. Yes. Are you watching me sleep, Walter? <laughs> yes. You're beautiful when you sleep. Watch me now. Okay. Strike your eyes. Shut my eyes. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I knew we were going to get in trouble. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, you should have seen the look on your face when those people walked in the room. You were like, ah! <laughs> That's me, all right. Yeah. You should have seen your face. You were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, your face went like this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then you were like this. Yeah, I'm going to look out the window for a while. Yeah. Yep. You say something? Yeah. And, uh... Hey, hey.